hello guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to discuss one of the question which was asked uh, from me in one of the uh, interview so the company name is oracle okay. so uh, basically the question is agar aapko ek string diya hua hai theek hai to us string mein aapko occurrence pata karna hai character ka kaun sa character kitne bar appear ho raha hai okay for an example agar aap yahan pe dekho to maine liya engineer right so engineer mein e character ki occurrence three times hai in ki occurrence do time hai g ki one time i ki one time and r key one time okay so total there are eight characters and these are the occurrence okay? so uh, what is the best solution for it so you can go with any approach but what approach i took in the interview was, uh, so that is something i'm going to discuss okay so you might have heard about that dictionary concept so i'm going to apply the same concept here and uh, uh, the same thing can be sorted in very simple way so let's start with creating one method so let's create uh, one uh, main method here okay so this is your main method so then i'm going to create one method so which will uh, count the occurrence okay so let's create one method and call it so count occurrence and simple i will be passing one uh, uh, string here okay so let's pass the name so you are getting this error right because neither i have declared the method nor i have declared the name so let's declare the name so name can be anything okay so let's give it as engineer for now and then let's create this method okay. so uh, the method which i'm going to create will be a static method static void so step void string so uh, now what i can do is i can iterate through each character of this uh, string okay so i can apply one each loop here okay and i can go through uh, each character so car let's see see in so here comes the concept of dictionary okay so what i can do is i can uh, declare one dictionary having so in dictionary you might be knowing there is something called key and value so key is something which is unique so what is uh, the key we have so i want to take a character as the key and then i want to count the value also right so the value will be counted in integer so let's uh, give that integer let's give the name of the dictionary and dict equal to so that's done now what i can do here is i try this property dictionary dot try get value then i can check uh, then I can store this C, okay, and then I can initialize one integer value without parameter. Then what I can do is, if this value is already present in the dictionary, okay, then you have to simply increment the value with plus one. So uh, that should be good enough. Now uh, the dictionary will give you the characters with the occurrence right so i want to print it also so let's print it so for that what i can do is i can go with another for each where and then what i need i need key, right so uh, okay i want to go with each of the dictionary key values okay so let's see x d i c t then uh what i can do is i can write one console dot statement console dot right line statement uh, and give it as of sure okay so character is stored in key right so if i can do x dot key let me install or sign here so if i can write x dot key it is going to give me the key okay uh, i mean the character so the occurrence of character key is and here i can provide the value okay so x dot value okay yeah, so that should be good enough it's quite simple however you should know the concept of so i can simply run my program okay let me just let me just run it okay
okay so if you see uh this this particular stuff right so uh, it's it, it has not given you the correct output because it has considered the caps letter as a separate one and so if you see the caps capital e and a small e, it is considering it as a uh, separate letters or a different characters okay so what we can do here is we can convert uh, the entire string into the uppercase so let's declare one string having a, a new name okay and then what we can do is we can do name dot so that it will convert the uh, string to the uppercase characters okay and then we can take this new name and uh, throw here so this is fine and here i need to throw this new name it's fine right so okay that's all good i think that should work so let me okay so now if you see this is what we had written initially right so the occurrence of character e is 3 n is 2 g is i so this is how we can proceed okay so if you like this kind of content please do subscribe the channel so there are a lot of playlists available on my channel so you can just visit them for post-secondary interview preparation so uh milte next video man till then bye bye take care